I'm on Snapchat going through people's stories and this girl was on a stretcher with no wig with a neck brace and they didn't even wheel her in to the ambulance yet and she's like this taking a selfie with the saddest face she could possibly put on her face. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Shariel if you're new and if you're returning, thank you for coming back. This video is plain and simple and a PSA to everybody that has social media and especially to those that do this. Stop oversharing on social media. So let's get right into the video. The third thing that I feel is overshared is achievements, okay? So, I am happy for everybody prospering. I'm happy if you're making money, if you're flipping houses, if your apparel business is going well, if you got that doctorate, you got accepted into law school, I'm so happy for you. You close on that house, I'm happy for you. Truly, 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 I'm not a hater. A lot of people are, but I'm not. I'm truly happy when people prosper. But the thing about it is a lot of people overshare because they're trying to prove a point to somebody. I don't know who on your friends list said you ain't gonna be nothing or they pooped on you as a kid but a lot of you guys are oversharing to flex on your family that may have doubted you or you're flexing because you have low self-esteem we all struggle with things but when you overshare you're literally telling on yourself there's just a difference between sharing your achievements and bragging and when you post about something over and over and over and over, like we literally know, like everybody knows the way you've been posting on it, the algorithm showed everybody at this point. And you're talking about it weeks and months later, we get it. So with that, it does breed jealousy and jealousy is really dangerous. I don't get jealous of people cause I'm happy, but I do get annoyed. So there's people that get annoyed and there's people that get jealous and you don't want either one of those things. So if you accomplish something, like you're on vacation or you got a new job or your man is awesome, whatever, you have a baby, it's cool, it's amazing, I'm happy for you. But please stop over posting about it because it's like, we get it and tell your mom, like text it to your mom. Why are you telling us every five seconds? We get it, dang. Like the thing about it, people have to realize at the end of the day, nobody really cares. Like the way you think they do. I don't know, people just forget anyway. So when you're posting stuff like flooding people with your achievements all the time, it gets to the point where they're not even happy for you anymore because you overshared the last thing you did. And then you say you have haters. We're not haters, we're exhausted because you posted about your house 10,000 times. So now that you're renovating it, it's like, okay, we get it, we get it, we get it, we get it, we get it. Please, please spare us the details. To get specific about things you shouldn't overshare and I don't think you should share at all are details of your achievements your yearly salary when it comes to money spare the details please if you're renovating your home or buying like a sound system I don't know TVs and uh, playstations and all those good things spare the details I'm not saying everybody's a wolf but there are wolves out there that aren't happy for you and will rob you. And then you were bragging two weeks ago that you renovated your house, you got TVs and all this other stuff. And then you're on vacation and because you overshare, you're sharing exactly where you are at the exact time and people know exactly where you live and guess who's gonna get robbed? You. When you overshare, you're at risk. Another thing not to overshare about is if you relocate somewhere. Oversharing about where you move to it's just risky you never know who's really after you and i know i sound like who are you like witness under witness protection like no i'm not but i'm just telling you people are weird you don't know who's secretly stalking you stop sharing where you live so much people will put the pieces together in the puzzle and they're gonna find out exactly where you live trust me in the fourth thing that we need to stop oversharing about are medical emergencies. A lot of the times on social media, 
Sometimes I see people share their medical emergencies and you know, they're just putting a testimony about how God healed them or they're talking about they're going through a rough time, you know? I don't mind that. And if you are going through a rough time, you're having health problems, I'm definitely gonna pray for you. If you want me to pray for you, put it in the comments because it's tough when you don't feel good. But what I'm talking about specifically are when people are leveraging their medical emergencies to get attention. What I see so much is like people will be in the ER and it's probably for pink eye or something. They'll have on the band, the emergency room band you get when they process you or whatever, and they're sitting in the chair and they take a picture of their wrist and they put it on Snapchat for two seconds or they put it on their Instagram story with no context, just the emergency room being on the wrist. Literally that screams I want attention. If you're really sick, why are you just posting your wrist and not telling us what's going on? You want people to message you. And I don't like when people use medical emergencies or sicknesses to get attention. It's not a good look. This is a real story that happened to me that I saw where someone was using a medical emergency to get attention once again. So one day, I'm on Snapchat when it was popular at the time. Uh, I accepted whoever added me, which I learned not to do now on Instagram and other places because I don't want to see people's lives. It's just like certain people, I'm just like, they're too much for me. The attention seeking is overwhelming. So. I'm on Snapchat going through people's stories and this girl was on a stretcher with no wig with a neck brace and they didn't even wheel her in to the ambulance yet and she's like this taking a selfie with the saddest face she could possibly put on her face. Girl, if you have a neck brace on, you have way more things to worry about than posting on Snapchat. And another thing, for what? Why are you doing this? That's what I'm, that's what I ask myself. This is weird. Why are you sharing it with us? I'm casually on social media to laugh or learn not to see you in a neck brace with your wig off because you want attention. Like what? And that's what I'm saying. This oversharing society, like this oversharing culture is really strange and i think it's a i know it's affecting our brains in a negative way because now nothing seems like real life and nothing seems serious anymore like there's no boundaries and that's because oversharing has become so regular and accepted and i really feel like we got to step back like we really need to think about should i post this because once you post it it's there forever um your children could look up things you've posted and it can haunt you, that's the thing. Like doing something in the moment, being emotional, you don't care. But sometimes when you look back at things in hindsight, you regret it. You don't wanna have regrets because of what you posted online. When you spare the details, and like I said, your personal life is like parsley on your timeline. It's just a little bit, just an accent. You really save yourself embarrassment, regret, and people in your business because they don't really know anything. Keep it vague, keep it vague online. The only people that should really know your business is Jesus, you, your mom, maybe if you can trust her. People that are in your close, close circle, I'm talking about three people at max, should know your real business. Everybody else, keep them at bay. Even if you love them, even if they're your friends, they shouldn't know all your business. It saves you headaches, it saves you so much because now your life is more peaceful because it's more private. So, thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. I hope you learned something. If you want to see more from me, subscribe to my channel and click that bell notification button if you want to know right when I post because I'm consistent. And share this with your friends. Thank you for watching once again. You are appreciated.